This is the Great Barrier Reef of Australia. Located off the country's northeastern coast, it contains the world's largest collection of coral reefs. The life of this reef was thought to be in grave danger. Now, for the first time in 36 years, the reef has recorded the highest levels of coral cover. However, there are concerns that all the progress made could be reversed quickly. Coral bleaching is the biggest threat to the health of the Great Barrier Reef. Bleaching happens when corals experience stress in their environment due to changes in temperature, pollution or high levels of ocean acidity. Under these stressed conditions, Zooxanthellae start producing reactive oxygen species. Zooxanthellae are the food producing algae living inside the corals which also gives them their bright color. In response to the stress, the corals start expelling Zooxanthellae, thus cutting off their food supply. This also exposes their pale white exoskeleton, giving the corals a bleached appearance. Severe bleaching and prolonged stress in the external environment can lead to coral death. The Australian Institute of Marine Science recorded the highest levels of coral cover in the northern and central region of the Great Barrier Reef within the past 36 years. The hard coral cover in the northern region had reached 36% while it was 33% in the central region. However, coral cover levels have declined in the southern region from 38% in 2021 to 34% in 2022. Coral bleaching was recorded on 45 out of the 47 reefs that were surveyed. While the level of bleaching was not high enough to cause coral death, it would still have sub lethal effects on coral health. Climate change and rising carbon emissions have made the seas warmer than usual. It is predicted that sea temperatures will increase by 1.5 degrees Celsius to 2 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. While the recent survey brings good news for the Great Barrier Reef, concerns remain on whether it can improve or even maintain its state.